Family, welcome back. It is now Christmas Eve. So this is day 24 of Vlogmas. Stay tuned for the question of the day. All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So let me just say, if this is your very first time to I Love Me, 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 do think about subscribing. Here's why. Because here at I Love Me, 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 I am supplying you guys with the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. Now, Vlogmas is for anybody who decides to vlog or post a video every single day of the month. So I decided to make a playlist and that playlist will be in the description box below. At the end of December, it will have 31 videos because that correlates with 31 days in the month. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into the question of the day. The question of the day is, <laughs> this one is tricky, y'all. This one is tricky. Do I think, personally, do I think it's okay for a woman to confide in another man about the problems that she is having in her relationship? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> Plain and simple. Yes, I do. But you know, of course, I got some reasons why. And today I give you four of those reasons why I think it is an issue for you to be confiding in another man about the problems that you are having in your relationship. All right. First and foremost, I'm going to give you the most important one or the one that I feel is the most important. Um, you should not be confiding in anyone else honestly but i get it but especially of the opposite sex about the problems that you are having in your own relationship because your partner your lover your boo your spouse your husband your wife whomever that may be is the only one that can help you solve the issue that you have with your partner spouse lover etc that outside force cannot help you they can't help you solve your issue that you have it with your boyfriend, lover, spouse, mate, partner, boo, whatever word you want to insert there. That third party can't help you. So yes, it's a problem. Number two, if you are trying to make your boo your best friend, your best friend needs to be your boo <laughs> and not that third party. The third one I feel is that three is a crowd. Three is a crowd, four is a crowd, five is a crowd. Anybody else other than your spouse intermingling in your relationship is a problem. That involves your mama, that involves your daddy, that involves your, your auntie, that even involves your children to some degree. It needs to be you and your partner. And why I said your children is because your children is going to grow up and get out the house one day. You and your, you and your mate. To death do you part, that person is going to be be there. We've all, just think about your own life. We've all grown up and moved out of our parents' house, at least most of us, depending on where you're at in your life. So even your children, I know a lot of y'all are not going to agree with that, but even your children need to be put behind your spouse. Now I get it. When they infants, they need a lot more, you know, um, support and involvement and everything. But as they grow up years and, you know, every year that passes with your child being there, the less and less they need you, at least for most things. I'm talking about, think about an infant versus a teenager or an infant versus a preteen or an infant versus a kindergarten. That's what, that's what I mean by that. So anybody that's coming in between your relationship could be an issue. So three is a crowd. That's why I said it that way. The last and final thing that I'm going to say about this is, would you like it if your man, partner, spouse, lover was given sensitive information about your relationship to another party? How would you actually take it? How would you actually like it? Would you think it was okay? Or would it now be a double standard because it's now you doing the talking. See, we never like it when somebody else is doing the talking about us, but we always feel that it's okay because we're the ones who's doing the talking. But it's not. What you want in your relationship is what you actually have to give out. So if you don't want your partner out there telling sensitive information or telling your problems to a third party, it doesn't even matter. In this specific case, somebody asked me about a specific um, guy 
But it doesn't matter who it is, really. Because I already told you, your spouse is the only one that can help you out with that issue. See, this is an issue that we have with bringing so many people into our relationships. It starts to break down, starts to tear it down. And truth be told, everybody that's around you and around your relationship don't want your relationship to thrive. They don't want it to survive. They don't really want y'all to work out. And there's several reasons why that occurs. But you can curtail that if you keep people out of your relationship. Now, I'm not saying every single detail. See, like even for me, I don't even tell people what's going on when I'm going through it. If I happen to mention it, it's because they're going through something and then I can share with them. Like, girl, I went there, been there, done that. Or if it's a guy, I could be able to share some of my knowledge with them and how I actually handled the situation. But if I'm in the throes of something going on with me and my fiance, you don't need to know that. Because I got my own mind. And... Finally, let me just say that if you are asking so many questions about what should I do in this situation and why this is occurring, it's already because you know deep down in your gut that something ain't right. And so if something is not right, then you need to do what you need to do. If that means going, then go. If that means taking a chill and getting all of these outside influences out of your mind, out of your head, then do that. You don't have to answer the phone. You don't have to text. Definitely do not go on social media letting everybody and their damn mama know what's going on in your relationship. It ain't sexy. And I wouldn't want to date you if you did that anyway. Anywho, I'm about to go off, y'all, because this is a no-go for me. And it should be a no-go for most people. Everybody don't need to know what's going on in your life. They don't. Because everybody is not there for you when it's time you know, for things. But basically what I'm saying is when it's time to make the thing work. Because we're saying to death do you part nowadays. Do we really actually mean that? And with that being said, death do you part does not mean with a third party. It means you and your spouse. You and your lover. You and your mate. That's what that means. So all these outside influences, you're looking for destruction in your relationship. So just get rid of them. All right, y'all, I seen that I went off a little bit on today's video because this one super irritated me, but I, I feel like it needs to be put out there because a lot of people let outside forces into their relationships and then they have no idea why their particular relationship is breaking down. So just think about this. Get rid of those outside influences. Now, if you are being abused or something, then absolutely get the help that you need to get out. I'm not, definitely don't stay for any type of abuse. I am definitely not an advocate for abuse. However, if it's not about abuse or something that's not on your deal breakers list, get those people out of your relationship. And you will see that your relationship is so much happier without all of these outside forces. I'll see y'all guys tomorrow.